hello friends and welcome back to the channel today i want to talk about something very exciting which is the release of bricks 1.5 beta bricks 1.5 beta comes with a ton of improvement to bricks builder and it's very exciting in this video i'm going to take a look at some of the most prominent additions to bricks builder there are tons of stuff uh, if, you, if you go through the change log there's a lot of stuff a lot of fixes but i'm going to take a look at the most prominent which is going to be the the new section and the div element and the new nestable element okay and then um, a couple of other small changes so let's jump into bricks the first thing that i want to talk about is the new section and div element uh, if you're familiar with Oxygen Builder, you will know that the section element is one of the most important containers. So right now there is a section element for bricks and it comes with, of course, there was a section element uh, which you could have inserted if I delete this um, via, you know, this canvas, but they did not have a dedicated element. And right now there is a dedicated element which is far more convenient to use and it comes with you know, an inner container uh, that controls how your content, you know, is displayed and content within the site. So this is, um, there's really not mu nothing much to say about this, but uh, because, I mean, it was already there, um, apart from the fact that people that were running Bricks 1.4 uh, and below, they have the opportunity to convert uh, their previous element into uh, a section element. Maybe you have uh, you can, there's a converter available, which you can convert your previous uh, containers to sections um, if they were on the root level. And uh, the next element is the div element. So you have a div element, which was not present before. Now, what's the difference between a container and a div element? Now, the container element is always the side width by default, but the, the div element is just a regular div. So um, it gives you one more building block to make building your website easier. And some of the things that intrigues me um, the most are the additional stuff they have added. Like if you right click, you can uh, convert an element. For instance, I can write, if I right click on this structure panel, you can see they have added a new contextual menu uh, on the structure panel, which is exactly the same as what you will have when you click on the canvas. And then those icons that were here has been taken away. I mean, it's kind of a mixed, ba a mixed bag because um, in some cases I, I did not like those icons. And in other times I like them, you know, especially the icons that allow you to add child elements. But overall, I think this is a good addition because they have moved the ability to add those child elements here and which is much, much better and cleaner. So I can add, you know, elements just by clicking a plus on the container or I can just add multiple elements. So it's really powerful the way they have done it. I like it a lot. Um, the only thing is that I wish I still had my uh, delete button somewhere here where I can just click to delete an element but I guess that is you know that is gone so you can just ha you just have to right click and delete uh, which to be frank I really don't like I wish to retain at least the delete button anyway um, now I was talking about converting an element so you can convert a div uh, you can convert a div into a container and then but if that div was on the root level, you have the ability to convert it not just to a container, but to a section. So you can see that. So you can move, you can just, if you if you decided that you didn't want this to be a section again, you could convert it to a div or a container. So these are really powerful stuff. You can insert a div, you can wrap with a div. You know, by default, if you click insert div, for instance, if I come here to this container or this div, I can right click and just click here and it's gonna insert a div. But if I right click, I have the option to decide if I want to insert a container or sorry, insert a container or a div. So I can insert a container inside a div. Now, if I'm on the root level, so everything is, everything is, you know, is contextual. So it knows uh, when you're on the root level, you can insert uh, a div or a container. Okay, you can. Okay, so I, I thought you can insert a section, but you really can do that. Uh, so, uh, but then that's another thing wrap with a div has, you know, has additional options. So uh, normally you, you could just, uh, wrap with a div, but right now you can also wrap with, uh, if, if it's on the root level, you have three options. You can wrap with a section. You can see that 
and then if it is not on the root level you can wrap with either a container or a div so i'm going to wrap that with a container this is a lot of extending the features that were already available this is really really powerful and another thing i want to uh, point out is that there has been uh, some improvement to the class system the way the classes are handled so if i want to add my section class here you can see that right now if you add a class you have that class you know shows up below uh, this input so that uh, you can tell so if you want to select the section you can just click on the class sorry if you want to select the id you can click on that class to remove to deselect the class and switch to an id and if you want to uh, uh, you know select the class you click on it again and if you want to delete that class you can just remove that class so let me add that class again and then if you have uh, more classes like more now you can see both of them you know are showing so you can switch between one or the other like i said if you want to deselect you can also deselect which is really really powerful and then another quality of life improvement they have made to this is that once you are inside this um section which is notorious for uh being uh really scrollable you have a very long um in list of options where you have to scroll up and down now uh the the class inputs and the class list and the uh the you know the tabs here remain sticky so you don't have to scroll all the way back to go back into the content so if you were styling something and you want to go to the content before you have to scroll all the way back to see these content tabs but right now everything stays in one place which is extremely convenient one other thing they have made some you know improvement to is the color so if you go to colors right now you are able to you know move colors around just to rearrange them and there's also an ability right now if you go to raw you have the ability to put in your css variable before now uh it wasn't possible i don't have any css variable here so um, nothing is going to work but let me say i go into the page uh the settings the page settings I go into custom code CSS and I write roots and then uh, that's not it so I want to define a CSS variable uh, and then I want to call my color and then I want to say red that is my color and I've defined that color as CSS variables and then I go into this and I go into say background and then you have to select raw and then i will say var color that should apply red uh, i'm not quite sure why it did not apply let me save that and check it again page setting custom code oh dear so something is definitely off with that you know it changed this roots to something else I'm not quite sure why it did that. I mean, this is supposed to be custom CSS for the whole. So I'm going to take it off from here and then I'm going to go back to the, go to the back end and declare it inside the custom code. Let's see if it's going to work. So inside custom code, I'm going to put it there. So uh, my root uh, CSS variable declared there. I'm not quite sure if there's a special way to declare a variable inside the bricks uh, builder. So I'm going to reload this. Good thing it reloads very quickly. And so you can see that that works. So, um, so yeah, where was I? The background for that. Uh, you go to raw. Uh, what, 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 what am I selecting? So is this, is this it? Uh, yep, that is it. So, so if you go there, you can see, uh, I'm not seeing this. Where is it? Background color. Okay, so uh, th let me change. So it's not, that is not what we are. Is it the container? I'm looking for, uh, I'm looking for what, okay. You know what? I'm just gonna take off all the, uh, everything, yeah? So I'm just gonna drop in another section and then I'm gonna drop in a div because I wanna apply that background to the div. So to see that div, I wanna set the width to, let's say 300 pixels. All right. Um, going to center it so now i can see my div properly and then i'm going to go to the background let's see again uh, that raw var so the v doesn't come in the first time color 
so you can say okay yeah that comes up i don't know if i made a mistake the first time so save so if i go there and change that color to blue and save come over here to the front end and refresh you can see that color changes another thing you can do with the colors you can actually write out uh, unfortunately uh, something is really wrong here because uh, if I come here see something is wrong there so let me refresh again uh, so it's I mean it's beta you know it's beta so there, there has to be a bug so that is a bug uh, so if you go there and click background you see the color disappears so that is just uh, that is just but if you, if you type in blue here you know you can show you type in red if you type in yellow so if you type in the you know the reg regular color names it works yeah they're gonna iron out the kings all right so um the next thing i want to talk about is the, the 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 most exciting of all is the new nestable element so i'm just going to take off uh this div and then i'm going to go to um just going to type here nestable as you can see they have in three new nestable elements they have the accordion uh, tabs and nestable slider and this means that all these are done with the native bricks elements it means that you can add and remove items you can drop like this is the tab i can come in here and just uh drop maybe a button if i want to so let me just drag a button and drop there i can drop a button into that content i can go into this tab and then i can drag an icon right there okay so so you can do a lot of things it's just like the way it is in oxygen that is the nestable um, tab uh, i'm going to insert the nestable uh, accordion which is exactly the same thing you know um, you can drop things so everything is made with the native bricks element and then another one is uh the nestable nestable um slider element so you can see this is a slider element it's uh, really powerful and this is done using splite i think it's really lightweight and really fast so you can see you can drop things inside and then it comes with you know you know tons of uh settings and uh you can you know s select each slide and edit them uh using the you know the normal flexbox property you can see that so it is um really exciting i i i love this so much now this slider element is so powerful i've gone ahead to make a video on how to use this slider element to do a scrollable um uh, an infinite scroll um logo slider and so you check it out here at, i've linked it at the top right corner of the page so check it out and um you'll love it you'll love it and like I said, there are a lot of improvement. There are a lot of them, but I just wanted to talk about just a few, the ones that really got me excited the most. There are a lot of stuff that has been done here. So you jump into it, take a look at the video from the official Bricks uh, uh, channel, and then uh, just have a feel of what is, you know, what they have done here. Like, look at this. Um, prior to this, they had issues with, you know, the all the small uh, action icons, that was getting in the way of selecting the small element all that has been cleaned up everything is just everything is clean up looks neat and i would like you to check it out you can download it from if you are if you are a bricks user you can download it from your accounts and play with it and give a feedback if there are bugs you report it uh, like we have seen there are some small bugs here and there but they are going to iron it out in the next you know release so um, i'm really excited for this and i hope you are excited too all right that's all for now i'm looking forward to doing more bricks more uh build videos with bricks uh more uh, tips and tricks videos with bricks and all that so stay tuned and i'm gonna see you in the next video